welcome back to Underwater Math. I'm Sir Puffet and the Pufferfish, joined by our friend Nitro the Great White Shark. Today we will be discussing fractions beyond or more than one hole. Hey mates, one hole means the entire shape or all of an object. How do we count fractions that are beyond or more than one hole? Well first, we need to name the fraction of objects that are more than one hole. Let's say Sir Puffington and I have two whole pizzas. Each pizza is cut or partitioned into four slices. When naming a fraction beyond or more than one hole, we look at one figure or object to name the fraction. Exactly. Because this pizza and the other pizza are both cut into four slices each, we can say these two pizzas are partitioned into fourths. Let's count to see how many fourths we have in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight fourths in total. If four fourths make up one hole, then eight fourths make up two whole pizzas. Let's do another. Sure. Let's look at this problem. The two shapes represent a fraction. What is the fraction of the shaded parts? We first need to name the fraction beyond or more than one hole, so we look at one figure and count the total number of parts it was partitioned into. We are also determining the denominator of the fraction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Since there are 8 parts, the denominator is 8. Now let's find the numerator by counting how many parts, or eighths, are shaded. I'll count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There are 11 parts shaded, so we write 11 as our numerator. 11 eighths is the fraction of the shaded parts. Each hole is partitioned into 8 parts and 11 parts in total are shaded. Wow, that was tricky, but we did it Sir Puffington. Indeed we did. Great job reviewing fractions beyond one hole with us today. Keep practicing and we'll see you next time.